Hey everybody, what's going on? How are you doing today? We're drinking coffee. This is one of my favorite coffee mugs. It came in a set on a, it came in a stack of coffee mugs of four of them. In fact, I think that if you go to TJ Maxx, they're still there. I see them out every Halloween at TJ Maxx, which is where I got this. There's a lavender one, there's a light green one, there's a light blue one, and I don't remember what the other color is, but there are four of them, these Day of the Dead mugs, and let me stop and take a sip, and then we'll t I'll talk to you about coffee and other things. How was your weekend? Yum. All right, I'm going to tell you why I just said yum. Hold on, let me take one more drink. I love drinking coffee. At Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.03 p.m. I love drinking coffee at 5.03 p.m. Okay, so first of all, before we get started, I'm wearing that t-shirt that I hauled the other day from Timu. It's just a leopard print heart, and I'm wearing the press-on, press-on. I glued them on. They're a little janky, you can see. You can even see the glue right here. Ooh, you can even see the glue right here because I made a mess. I used paint on glue to glue on these fingertips from, um, you know, Timu. And they have come off at least twice. So it's not so much a review of the t fingernails as it is of the glue. I used this paint on glue that I got from Team Out. Team should I start this over? Yes, because I forgot to turn the alien on. We're off to a great start. Um, the glue is called 2Gel or something. I don't know. It's just, I found it on Timu, a paint-on glue. Let's see how long his eyes stay lit up. And they keep coming off, so I take the, carry the glue with me and a few extra fingernails in my purse. And... I don't know. It feels, they feel weird on my fingers with the, I'm engaged, leave me alone ring from um, Ms. Blue. Anyway, we're not here to talk about all this. I've been out in the heat. I thought about curling my hair before this video, but then I thought, nah. But my brother and I went to see that movie today called Talk to Me. Have any of you guys seen that movie? It's a horror movie or a scary movie. And it was okay. I mean, I, you know, I've heard so much hype about that movie and how it's even Peter Jackson said it was one of the best horror movies he's seen in ages or whatever. I don't know what his exact quote was, but I was so like pumped up to see this movie because of the reviews and everybody raving about it and saying, oh my gosh, it's the best, You blah, blah, blah. But then I was kind of let down. I think I got my expectations up way too high. But it's one of those movies that I feel like I missed a lot. And I need to watch again. Not in a movie theater. But when it comes out streaming again. Then I'll watch it again. My brother felt the same way. So we left the movie. And we just kind of looked at each other. And I was like, well, what did you... What do you think? I mean, is that one of your favorite movies? And he's like, no. He's like, I don't really know what to think about it. We, uh, He's like, we were both like, well, it didn't suck. <laughs> so, I mean, that's kind of what we had to say about it. That was our one sentence review of the movie is it didn't suck. It was okay. It was fine. Uh... I don't know, but it was nice to see a movie. We saw it at about 1.30 today, and then get out and still have some of the day left. So, cause I, I was supposed to buy tickets to the 4.30 movie and then I screwed up and bought them to the 1.30 movie instead. So he was a little hungover and I wasn't cause I don't get wild on Saturday nights, you guys, but he does. He goes out to the bars and hangs out with his friends and all this stuff. He's younger than I am. Let me have some more coffee. I got to reach way back to this, um, this thing. I would usually set it right here where the haunted house is, which would be a much easier reach, but I've got it down on one of the lower shelves. 
I have the little Loki in his playpen so he won't come jump up on that shelf and drink my coffee, which is another weird thing he does. Well, after he drinks it, then I don't drink it. It's not good unless you slurp it. Okay, I told you guys I was going to come on with some holiday gift ideas. And here's what I'm getting. My mom, she doesn't watch my channel. And I brought some, I brought some notes, some cheat sheet notes. But I want to talk about this really great. And I'm saying it because I'm drinking it. So when this company approached me and said, do you want to do this and this? I was kind of like, well, I got to try the coffee first. Because I'm not going to do a promotion on my channel for something that I wouldn't buy myself. And this is definitely something that I'm not only going to buy myself, but I'm going to get my mom for Christmas. So it's Atlas Coffee Club. They are, they take you on a tour around the world every month. You get an Okay, so you get to choose. I don't even know where to begin, except we can start with my boxes. Okay, so you can choose. It's a subscription club service or club. And the New York Times coffee critics have named it one of the best coffee subscription clubs or services. And their coffee critics love this coffee. If you Google... Atlas Coffee Club in the New York Times. You can read some of their rave reviews of this coffee. So that's what I did when they first approached me. I Googled it. I read they've been covered in a lot of great magazines and they are much loved by people who know what they're talking about. Me, I just like to drink coffee. And so what you get is every month when you subscribe to Atlas Coffee Club, you get a coffee that's singly sourced from, is it, sing, why did I put down single source? I wrote single origin from sustainably sourced from a different, they source from more than 50 countries. You get a box. Now I chose pods because I have a Keurig and I like pods, but really, you know, if you're a true coffee connoisseur, they also have whole beans and you, or you could choose from not only pre-ground, but let me make sure I have this right. They have eight different grind types, depending on whether you use drip or a French press or espresso or whatever else you're using. But you'll get, in, here's what you'll get every month. You'll get coffee from a different country. And then inside the box, and mine are going to be, I've been drinking it. So it it's not as packed as it would be if we, um, if we just got it. Okay, so you'll get the box. And on the bot, wait, where are my old lady glasses? Let's see what the side of the box says first. Side of the box says, with over 50 countries to explore, there's a whole world of coffee you can discover with, with Atlas. Our mission is to deliver you the world's best coffees from countries across the globe. From Papua New Guinea to Peru, Burundi, Burundi, oh no, I don't know, my, my, ge my geography teacher. To Brazil, explore the world of coffee, globally curated, delivered fresh. They do deliver it. They grind it fresh to order. So you're not getting stale old coffee when you get it that's been sitting around in a warehouse forever. It's artfully roasted and it's sustainably sourced. So, and it says, consider us your coffee tour guide. So in every box you get the coffee, which mine is a big mess because I've been drinking El Salvador. I love the El Salvador coffee. It tastes delicious. I can't get enough of it. It makes my mornings happy. Let me stack them all up. Well, forget it. Like, let me stack them up so I can show you how, let me just, you know what? Let me not do that. Let me just take out a pod. So you get... For me, I got the pods because I'm lazy and I have a Keurig and I like to just go downstairs and pop a pot in and drink my coffee. But then you get a postcard from the country and then on the back, there is a little, there are a lot of facts about where you're getting the uh, coffee from. So here's some facts about El Salvador. 
I'm not going to read this whole thing to you because you might want to get El. I mean, you might get El Salvador and you um, might want to read this yourself as a surprise. But you also get, which I really love, you get another card that has the tasting notes and the roast level and a did you know on it. So tasting notes are red, here's an El, El Salvador red grape cocoa powder and cinnamon and then the roast level is all the way up here close to dark and then did you know throughout the year atlas cups hundreds of coffees from around the globe curating and selecting what the team finds to be the best for quality flavor profile and uniqueness okay so, and then on the back, you have El Salvador's coffee history about how their coffee, and then you get some information about the growing region, where they got the coffee from, altitude, process, region. Then you get coffee notes. So, it provides a beautiful mosaic of delicious notes full of juicy fruit notes similar to red grape, notes of cocoa powder, and a finish reminiscent of cinnamon. A wonderful coffee that's both familiar and comforting, but also complex and exciting, as if by artistry design. So, and then I brought another box just to show you. They sent me one other country. So let's look at the other box. And the boxes are beautiful themselves, you guys. The boxes are gorgeous. Look at that. Lovely. And then here on the bottom is more about El Salvador. And you can hashtag good, good coffee travels if you want to tag them, which I will in this video. Will I post it on Instagram? I don't know. I need to make a Hey Everybody Instagram, don't I? For all kinds of things. Okay, this, this one is from Papua New Guinea. And look at this box. Wow, they're colorful and beautiful. And so, I've already been drinking this too. I can't get enough. You get a great postcard. Fantastic. With the same thing, with facts, with information on the back and then Papua New Guinea and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly I could be just botching all these names and that wouldn't be embarrassing at all so these tasting notes are cantaloupe graham cracker and dark chocolate and it's also up here close to dark I think when I filled out my coffee profile for this I put dark roast medium to dark is what I like and then did you know AAK okay let me see so on the back they have the coffee history again the sub region where they got it from the eastern highlands the process the altitude and then the coffee notes that's Clover. She's sneezing. And then it's the only AAK, which is where they source it, I think, is the only co-op in Papua New Guinea to unify so many tribes and single family producers. AAK stands for Apo, Angra, and Kange. I'm sure I messed that up. The word for unity in the three major local languages. Their goal is to improve co coffee quality and livelihood throughout holistic approaches, including gender equality, healthcare, education, and financial planning. So they're very thoughtful about where they source. The Atlas Coffee Club is very thoughtful about where they source their coffee from. And I am going to get my mom a gift subscription so on their website they do have a gift section where you can get a friend or a family member a gift subscription i think we're going to look at their website in a minute because I, this is all about my holiday gift guide i know you think it's a little early to be starting a haul oh let's look at these pods i know you think it's a little early to be starting a holiday gift guide but no i like to get all mine done way in advance and then laugh at all the people scrambling at the last minute here's the top of the pod that's beautiful art 
it's very artistic from the blend the blend from the um it's not a blend it's a single source from the taste or the let me reach back and get mine from the coffee itself to the boxes to the thought they put into all the information they give you in the boxes and it's wonderful so let me see i did this eight different grind types i'm looking at my cheat sheets curated globally single origin sustainably sourced freshly roasted to order you can get 12 ounce or six ounce half bags when you subscribe and i'm going to walk you through the subscription process right now sourced from more than 50 countries small batch roasting process allows you to taste the nuances between each country what did i just do stop that and then you get a postcard and blah 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 okay we did all that they pay above fair trade prices for all their their coffee which is very important to me and they focus on the sustainability impacts of their products and local farming practices so I have a code, you guys, that they've given me that would will give you 50% off your first bag. And that is HEY, spelled correctly with three Y's, everybody, all one word. Uh, so you go to Atlas Coffee Club backslash HEY, everybody, to get 50% off your first bag. But, you guys, I noticed on their website that for a limited time, if you sign up for their email newsletter, you can get your first bag free. Free. So find the deal that works best for you. Yum. I can taste the cinnamon. Just a little bit though, not a lot. I don't know, would I have been able to taste it if I hadn't read that? I don't know. It could be could be all in the mind, but I do know it's really delicious. Okay, let's walk through the subscription process just for the fun of it because I want to be able to tell you guys how much it costs. So what you do first is you'll get on a page that says, let's say I'm going to subscribe and we're going to build our plan. So the first thing I'm going to pick is select my coffee type preference. You can type, select, like I said, whole bean ground or coffee pods. I'm going to pretend that I want ground even though I want pods. Then you choose whether you want ground for a drip machine, ground for a French press, ground for a pour over, ground for espresso, ground for AeroPress, ground for cold blue, or not sure, just a regular grind. So that's pretty cool. Then you select your roast preference, light to medium, medium to dark, or all roasts, and which is cool. Then you can choose how many bags you want per shipment. So you can get a double bag, which is $14 a month, and the most popular, and you get a free bag. Then, or you can get a single bag for $7, or you can get a half bag for $4 dollars and 50 cents and you get to choose how often you'd like to receive it every month or every two weeks so let's say that I just want a single bag I'm going to click that and I want it every four weeks then I'm going to go to checkout you, they do accept PayPal which is important to me because I don't like putting my credit card in things and yeah, my first payment due is, oh, well, I got immediately got a promo code Atlas Welcome that took $7 off. So it took 50% off my first order. So my first order was $7. I'm so confused though. I don't know if that means then my next payment would be $14, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to find out really, I really want to tell you guys how much it, it will cost you per month. Let me go back up here and see what it says. Oh, my discount has been applied. Okay. All right. All right, then. 
Okay, so that would be 14 bucks a month for a single bag of coffee. Let me see if you get the pods. Let me see how expensive or inexpensive the pods are. I'm going to click coffee pods. And then you can select your roast preference. I'm going to select all roasts because I don't want to miss a country. Then you can choose 72 cups. Try two countries per month, which is $34 per, no, 34 cents per cup. Um, that looks like it's $50 a month after your first box. 48 cups looks like it's, which is still try two countries each month so you get like what I got which is two boxes a month 39 but your first box is 19.5 1950 what's the matter with me 24 cups you can try one cup one country each month for $29 and then you can choose every two four or six weeks so right on Okay, yeah, the sale is applied to the first shipment only. So if I were to choose just one box a month because I'm on a budget, I'm going to do that. And it says it's going to usually be $30 a month, except with my first shipment. Or if you use that, hey, everybody, what is my code again? Let me get my cheat sheet. It's hey, everybody. That's it. It's just, hey, everybody, my channel name, but all one word. You get 50% off your first bag. Or if you sign up for your, their e-newsletter, you get your first bag free right there. So pick what, you, pick what works for you, you guys. And then you check out. All right. This is fabulous. I'm excited to introduce this to you guys in the at my box, I messed it all up, but here's what you'll get. You'll get this, You'll it'll come in a box. You'll get your beautiful package. You'll get your postcard. You'll get your tasting notes card. And I think that, so let's hit gifts. Give a coffee world tour gift. So I am getting my mom this and as a gift because she's hard to buy for, but she loves coffee. So I know that she's definitely going to like this. And the most popular is you can buy six months for $99. And that'll be bags per shipment. Let me see if I can pick. Okay, let me see if I can pick. I can pick pods. And then if you pick pods, three months of the pods is $99. And then you get one box per shipment. And that's every month. Or let me see. You can get a one-month gift. You can just get it one month for $40. Now, let me go back to ground. Six months is $99. Let me see if I can go. Three months is $50. So, you can get someone three months of ground Atlas Coffee Club coffee for $50. And they get a bag per shipment. And they get it mailed. And that's pretty, that's kind of cool. And I guarantee you, you're going to hear from those people and they're going to be like, hey, thank you. We love this coffee so much. Well, I can't guarantee you because I don't know what your friends like. But, and then you can choose your first shipment date here and they will get it there. And you can include a gift note. And you can also email to let them know. And they have been recommended by, here's some more, Forbes Travel and Leisure, CNN underscore, the Boston Globe, and I already said the New York Times, which is what I read about. And they're exciting. I'm excited. I'm, I'm grateful that they gave me the opportunity to talk about their exciting coffee subscription service. I think it's really cool. I can think of some more people I'd love to give those as gifts to as well. Like um, my boss, for instance. She drinks a ton of coffee. And it's fun. Now, as long as we're doing that, I want to show you guys some of my favorite mugs that I've gotten from not only Timu, but other places. So, while we're drinking coffee, let me stretch way back here and get my cup one more time. And I take another sip of El Salvador. 
I feel so worldly. Delicious. I already showed you these. These are TJ Maxx. So for me, it's all about the mug too. It's not just the coffee. It's got to be in a great mug or else it ruins my day. Let me show you my, my favorite. Well, it's very simple, but it's my very favorite. And I got it on Timu. Hold on a minute. I've got all these mugs piled up next to me. You guys, I was going to shoot this video on my at my dining room table with all this stuff set up. But my mom is downstairs watching old movies. It's really loud down there. All the animals are down there. So I just decided to do it in my comfort zone, which is right here with the alien. Eyes are still hanging in there, although not so much. This is my favorite mug I've gotten on Team Who. It says male tears, cheese. Oh, wait, this can't be my thumbnail. Here, we need to pose for another thumbnail. This is my thumbnail. Is there any? Should I turn it this way? Okay. Smile for a thumbnail. Everybody say, do I need to take off these glasses or does my hair look worse? You guys help me out here. Oh, we're not live. I would put a poll. I would put a poll in the chat right now that says glasses or no glasses. People are like, when are you going to go live? Never. Okay, let me just, everything's greasy. That's fine. Okay. Hello, look at my fabulous coffee. Hello, look at my fabulous coffee. <laughs> I hate making thumbnails. I hate it. Should I put one in each hand? They're kind of slidey, you guys. The, bar, the boxes slide in and open. So, hello. They kind of... Now wait, can you even tell it's coffee? Put this here and put this here. Thank you for helping me with my thumbnail, everybody. Okay, and put this here. Here's me and my worldly co global coffee. Thanks, countries that make great co coffee. Try it again. I told you they're slidey. Is that even a word? I just made that up. All right. See, when I smile, when I try to just smile for a camera, it looks like I'm gritting my teeth. Smile naturally. I don't smile naturally. I have a natural resting bitch face, but that doesn't look good in a thumbnail. <laughs> okay. All right. I think that's enough. Okay, so... Oh, whoa. And you know what I'm going to do at the end of this video, you guys, which is really random and has nothing to do with coffee. I'm going to show you guys um, what you get if you order a diamond painting off Timu. Because I was watching Gigi today and she thought she had ordered a diamond painting. And she was like, I'm confused. I don't know what's even in here. And another person had also asked me uh, what came with a diamond painting when you ordered it from Timu. And I realized that I was kind of a jerk, like just showing my diamond painting that I had hauled the other day without even showing people like what you get when you order a diamond painting. So let me get through my favorite mugs. Then we're going to open a diamond painting and then we're going to call it a night. Okay, male tears makes me laugh and I love it. I have another mug that I did bring up here now. It's a little body so you kind of have to have a dark, you know, you kind of have to be able to let that bleep go sometimes. There was a time in my life when I really needed to let some bleep go. And I got this mug from a website called Society6. And they have really great products. Society6, six, number six. So it's Society and number six. And they have really great products by different artists. But I found this flowery, beautiful mug. But then it said this on it. And it made me laugh. And so that was that. That's another one of my favorite. Like, I couldn't find this mug once for a week. Because my mom had used it to put grease in or something. And then 
stuck it in the back of the refrigerator and I almost had a breakdown. I was like, where's my mug? Because some mornings I just really need to drink that. Now also not on from Timu. Let's go through the not from Timu ones first. Not from Timu. There's an artist on Etsy named whoa, named Foxy8. If you happen to be part of the girl world here on YouTube and you watch Foodie Beauty or you don't watch Foodie Beauty or you watch people who react to Foodie Beauty, she Foodie Beauty is a creator here on YouTube and she is something else. That's all I'm going to say. She has a lot of channels who react to her and Foxy8 is a cartoonist who does, her channel is Foxy and the number eight. And she does cartoons of Beauty Beauty. And then she, on her Etsy site, sells these mugs of her Foodie Beauty cartoons. So if you're not a Foodie Beauty, um, into the Foodie Beauty stuff, you probably won't appreciate these mugs as much. But they're still adorable. Foodie Beauty is a mermaid. And then Foodie Beauty with all her different wigs on, which she does have a lot of wigs. So these are really awesome too. I love these mugs. And I love supporting YouTubers and getting their merch. And so on that note, another mug that I have, it's getting kind of treacherous here. I can't believe I have these all piled up next to me when they were all supposed to be laid out beautifully on a table. Don't say I don't try dangerous things. There's another. This is a very rare limited edition mug <laughs> that I got from the channel is George Senda. That's the name of the channel, George Senda. He's the guy from Pittsburgh. But his channel name is George Senda, and this used to be his merch. He doesn't sell merch anymore, so I feel really privileged to have this cup. And it's just a one-sided design. It's black inside, but he is um, into a lot of paranormal stuff, which he sometimes talks about, but he usually just vlogs about his life, and he's a very interesting man. And that's kind of all I'm going to say. Check out his channel. In fact, I'll link to, I'll, I will link to Foxy8 and George Senda in my description below if you want to go check out their channels. They might not be for you, but they might. You never know. But um, my George Senda mug, if anything were to ever happen to it, I don't know what I would be crushed Okay, on Amazon, you guys, I found this set. And you know what? I haven't even thought to look for it on Timu. But I found this set on Amazon of mermaid mugs that y'all know I just had to have. They got that mermaid vibe. Aren't they cool? Ooh. Don't break them during the video. I would upload it anyway just for the, just for the shock factor. But they have scales. They have beautiful orange... I mean, I'm sorry, orange gold tails, and they're just nice. They came as a set of two mermaid mugs from Amazon. I asked for them for my birthday, and I got them. So, you will all always find me loving mugs. This was my grandmother's mug. mug. She's no longer with us, but... What does the maker's mark say on the bottom? It's It's been through a lot. You can see it's got a lot of cracks inside because I don't think we were supposed to wash it in the dishwasher. In fact, it probably says don't put in the dishwasher. It's cupcakes and cartwheels. It's Kimberly Hodges of cupcakes and cartwheels is the artist. But I love this mug so much. It's got a little rose at the top for you to rest your thumb on when you're drinking out of it. And it's colorful and beautiful and love it. I found it in a, this box of my grandmother's stuff that they were throwing away. And I was like, what is the matter with people throwing this mug away? And I snatched it. And this one kind of reminds me of it. This one I did get on Timu. And you probably remember I hauled it. It's got beautiful. It's got decorations inside it's beautifully 
painted and it's got raised dots on it and it can be washed in the dishwasher. I've washed it several times. I don't know if it's still available on Timu or not, but every once in a while you can find these gems of mugs on Timu. And then another mug I really love from Timu is this Vifties vibe that I just hauled the other day mug that I found. I should have gotten a whole set of four, but you guys, I'm running out of rooms for mugs, frankly, as you can see. There's a lot I'm not even showing you, but this is a really cool one that I love. It's got red line across the top. It's got these starbursts with little points of turquoise. So there's that. And then my ghost is my current favorite one that I don't care if it's not Halloween yet. I still love and I'm still, I love this ghost. I know I showed you a couple of ghosts with little, like the other ghost had a little hat that came on it and stuff. But this is the one with the little stars that I really love. And when I bought it, it didn't have an option to get the star stirring stick for it. But I drink my coffee black anyway, so a stirring stick I would have just shoved in a drawer and not done, unless I'm going to put Baileys in it. But even then, don't stir it. Just pour the Baileys in first, pour the coffee over it. It'll all mix by itself. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had Baileys in my coffee, but if I were to use a stirring stick, I guess it would be for that. And then one more, of course, little Clover's over here asleep. Hi. A girl has no coffee. If you are a Game of Thrones fan, you will appreciate A Girl Has No Coffee. If you've never watched Game of Thrones, get yourself Max or whatever, the Max app, and start watching Game of Thrones from the very beginning all the way to the end. You'll thank me for it later. You don't have to be into all the Renaissance Fair, medieval crap. It's just an awesome, awesome show. And I've had so many people go, I'm not into all the kings and queens and blah, blah, blah. I really wasn't either. But then I watched Game of Thrones and it doesn't matter. It's the characters and the story and everything that make that show so fabulous. It could be set anywhere. It could be set in an office and it would still be awesome. Okay, now we're through with the mugs. We're through with all my favorite mugs. Now what I'm going to do is open up a diamond painting from Timu and show everyone what you get if you want to start diamond painting, what you get if you order a diamond painting on Timu. And this could be another gift that you could give to someone who maybe wants to start a new hobby or has a lot of time on their hands. Let me, I, what I, one thing I don't have are my scissors. Let me get them out of my little, I've got a little box next to my bed that I keep important things in that I, like these scissors, my chargers, my melatonin. It's like a little stuff I need when I'm in bed box storage box, cute little storage box. And so when you guys see me bending down like this, I'm getting in my stuff I need storage box. Okay, let me cut this open and if you and show you what you get if you order. You, you can order one of these and if you've never diamond painted in your life, this will at least get you started. And then if you're like me, you'll be like, oh, I want some more kind of different tools and accessories and a light stand and a and a carrying case and all this other stuff. I mean, then you can build upon your basics, but these do come with the, the basics. So let me open it. Well, let me try to open. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. That was the closest I think we've come. I've come to hurting myself on camera. Okay, let me get it out. This is going to be the next one I do, the haunted house. Oh. My other one, here's the progress I've made so far. Now, my cat has stepped on it 8 million times. And my black cat that's getting wrecked. I ordered some paper to go over. So, the black cat, so far, I've got, like, a little more done. 
this off of it. I've gotten a little more done. I got to straighten the rows. And as you can see, though, I got to do all this up here. I'm really looking forward to doing the roses. Those are going to be pretty, but uh, it's coming along. I I'm not in a hurry. I'll probably do a little more tonight. And then I, don't, I ordered a portfolio to put these things in because I don't know what, what I'm going to do with them when I get done. I don't know. I talked to some people who said they donate them and stuff, but I don't think it, I bought some stuff also that's coming to paint over it when I'm done to seal all the diamonds in place. So when you order a diamond painting from Timu, you get the canvas itself, which is what I just showed you. And so it's adhesive, so it's just fell on the ground. And so you can peel the plastic up as you work, like a sticker. So what I'll probably do is once again, start with the black at the bottom. So it's really sticky. So this is sticky, sticky, really sticky. And it, that's why it's got this protective plastic over it. So here's your canvas. And if you look really closely at it, you see all the little different letters and stuff on it. And then if you look over on the side, there's a key where each letter, color letter, corresponds with a number. Which is kind of weird. Like, why don't they just put the letters on the thing? So anyway, so then you get this... A bag full of different bags of beads and then each bead has a number on it so if I were to do the black parts oh lord and you just need good lighting and good glasses okay so that's W and that's packet number two so I would go through these I'm not going to open these right now and get it looks like it's right here somewhere and get packet number two open it open it up Usually I open it. Well, now I've got little containers, but otherwise I would cut it open. And then it comes with also this basic set right here of a tray. And so I would pour a little bit of them in the tray and then seal it up with tape. Which is why I wanted little round containers. And so then you pour them in your tray and then you take your little, it comes with a little tool, like a little pen tool. And then this is sticky putty. So it also, I can't do it with these fake nails on, but it's got, it's got adhesive too. So you peel this off and you dip this little, it's got a hollow point. My camera isn't focusing. Focus, whatever. I'm trying it's got a hollow point and you just dab it in this putty, this wax, this whatever the heck this stuff is, this gluey stuff. And that lets you take it and then let's say your little diamonds are in here and it lets you just go like this, womp and pick up a diamond. The diamond will stick to it and then you just get on your canvas and you go, Womp, and you don't have to make that sound and you just stick it in the corresponding square. So it's really just color by numbers, but with colored diamonds, it's very simple. But so when you order from Timu, you get your little tool, you get a tray for your diamonds, you get the little sticky putty to use, and you only need a little teeny tiny of, of this to put on your tool, your tool, your pen, I don't know. And then you get all the beads necessary to complete the painting. And then you just work to your heart's content. I use a Chanel box as my work as my workbench. As I put the Chanel box on my lap and then I spread this thing down on it and then I go bump 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 to my heart's content. And I just zone out and listen to podcasts or I listen to long YouTube videos or just, yeah, while I'm doing this. And it keeps me from scrolling through the Timu app, which is nice. Okay, can I get this back in here? I don't think I can, you guys. 
Somebody asked, are you okay? Did your channel get taken down? We didn't see a video yesterday. You guys, is the t I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a video every day now that I can't review replica bags. I had about five replica bags lined up, which I'm not going to re be reviewing on this channel, unfortunately. Perhaps I will try it on Instagram, but I have a feeling that my Instagram account would get kicked off to, well, I'd make a Hey Everybody Instagram account. Why can't, why are they allowed to do it on TikTok then? I guess because TikTok is a Chinese web, Chinese app, huh? They're, I, they're totally, I just read an article about how it's a trend on TikTok reviewing replica bags, but apparently not, you know, and no, I'm not putting TikTok on my phone. I'm an old lady and I'm not going to put that on my phone. I'll put Timu on there, but not TikTok. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about those replica bags. And somebody made a really good point when it comes to those bags. I did not sign contracts with any of those people. They sent me those bags for consideration for review which was the language we had to use and good because I'm not legally bound to review their bags. They sent them as samples for me to consider to review. It's very crappy for me to then just say, I'm not going to review them, but that's kind of the easiest way. I am going to be honest and say YouTube has implemented new policies and I just can't review the, this. And if they say, well, you have to pay for the bag, then they're just never going to hear from me again. Because that's a, it, that's seedy, isn't it? I don't know. I feel seedy, but I can't afford to pay for their bags. And I don't want to send them back. I didn't sign a contract. They sent me their product, a sample of their product to, to get publicity. And I'm pretty convinced that they do target smaller channels knowing that the bigger channels are going to know that it's a no-no and say no. But people like me are just like, oh, they want to send me a free bag, like an idiot, and go, okay. You know, and they know that we're naive like that. So that's kind of shady on their part, too. This nail is coming off. I got to go glue it back down. See, this is what, mm, what glue, here, can I reach my purse? I'm still using this bag, you guys. I'm using the burgundy one. Let me see what the glue is called. The glue that is kind of sucking. The glue is called chewing nail glue. And it's not fair for me to say sucking because... You know, glue is as only as strong as glue is. And, it's, you know, these nails, my hands do a lot. And let me shove this down in here and glue this back down for the third time. Okay. I don't know. I just don't think these are going to last very long. So I carry the glue and some extra fingernails in my bag. And we'll see how they do at work tomorrow when I'm typing. But also the feel of these things glued to my fingers is kind of a weird thing I have to get used to. All right, that is a 48 minute and 32 second video of just about nothing. Just running my mouth and showing you some Timu stuff. So... And talking about, once again, Atlas Coffee Club, you guys, don't forget to look in my description and use my discount code. Hey, everybody, for 50% off your first bag or order, 50% off, I'm looking at my thing, get 50% off, if you go to, hey, I'm going to link to it, of course, in my description atlascoffeeclub.com slash backslash hey everybody to get 50% off your first bag of coffee. Now, does that work with gift subscriptions? I don't know. I don't think it does. I don't think you get a discount if it's a gift subscription, but you're welcome to give it a shot. All right, I want to thank again Atlas Coffee Club 
keep wanting to call them at Atlas Coffee Company uh, for letting me represent their coffee. That means a lot. And I appreciate all of you who have watched this video. I'm ducking because this needs to be up a little bit more. And thank you so much. And Clover says good night. Yeah, Clover says good night, even though she's behind my camera. And I got to go let that. Oh, I got to go put all these coffee mugs back. That'll be fun. And let the little Loki out of his playpen. So lights, eyes went out, of course. All right, have a nice morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this. And you have any question, if you have any questions about the coffee or the diamond painting, which I'm not really that seasoned in, I've only just started, or anything else, let me know in the comments below or just say hello or just say hey. But thank you for your kind comments. Thank you for hitting like. And thank you for your valuable time. Here goes something about to fall down. All right. Bye, everybody. Now we say, how do I stop this thing? How do I stop this?